Hello and welcome. This is Kaleidoscope Design Technique in Affinity Designer. My name is S. A. Bukhari, and today in this video, I'll be showing you how to create Islamic geometric shape like this one. So this is it. In this video tutorial, I'll be showing you how you can create this pattern. So let's get started with the new file. File new. Page width and height is 1000 pixels each. Let's bring the grid. Let's create a shape. Give it a color. Copy paste. Select both of them, subtract them. So I created an arrow. So let's go to view studio and then click on symbols and then this symbol tab will appear and when it does click on this create button in this symbol tab so we have created a symbol out of this shape okay you can delete it not a problem you can always drag it from the symbols library and that will work all right so so now that we have our symbol let's copy paste and flip that horizontally all right okay so we have two face-to-face -face arrows meaning a reflection these are the reflection of the other one right so that is the kaleidoscopic technique to reflect all right now that we have it here let's select both of them put them in a group pressing command G so let's put it in the here almost stop of the document let's make sure it is vertically center so click on this now it's done position properly click on this show rotation center and drag that rotation center icon to the middle of the document all right now copy paste by pressing command c and command v and hold and press press and hold the shift button and rotate it to 30 degree because if you want to have 12 pointed star you need to rotate them to 30 degree each all right so let's repeat this process command c command v also you can count these uh, points as a segment points reference point and also you can count them as a reflected mirror so whenever we draw something in our document all of these segment points or reflected mirror will reflect our drawings that is the kaleidoscopic power and technique so basically this is the setup you can always save your file and then you can work later right with this setup right so we have let's minimize them right so we have our all of our seven points right you can click on the any all of these groups and that will work you can go here that means you are selecting some some of them right it doesn't matter which one so let's be organized let's select the last one and click on this drop down icon and within these we have two more original symbols you can also click on these ones right that will work and you can also go to the last one and the last layer which is more organized and give it a name like base right so in the last group and within the last group we are selecting the last symbol base layer right so now that we have selected that we are ready to roll all right so we are creating islamic geometric shape right so selected the pen tool right okay moving on so let's do that so i clicked there let's put it in here maybe yeah and all right all right so it's done 
and to make them perfect go to the also first give these make these lines a bit thicker like three points yeah and then click on this no tool all right now you can mix and match and make them perfect yeah like so and this one yeah almost there yeah like so so there it is there is our Islamic geometric shape in two strokes two clicks unbelievable come on how powerful is this technique kaleidoscopic technique in affinity designer is mind-blowing wow so there it is that's how I created this shape using two stroke only pen tool using the pen tool and clicked three times that's it and we have this shape Islamic geometric shape that is the video number one and in the future I'll be creating a lot of them all right so if you want to remove these uh, seven points you can always do that just uncheck it and that's it and that it will also work and you click on this base layer also and then you start drawing whatever you do and it will reflect all right okay so this is it that's it that was it this video is about it creating this shape this pattern Islamic geometric pattern so I hope you are highly 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 benefited from this technique and from this tutorial if you are please give this video a thumbs up do write to me and share the video with the world because you'll never know who you will inspire and help so please do that do share the video with the world and thank you so much for being here thank you so much for your time if you were not there I wouldn't be creating these tutorials at all so I created these for you and I just wanted to share with you share with you the technique so that you can leverage with this technique and move on yeah create amazing stuff so thank you so much thank you so much for your time and you you know that one of the thing I want to tell you that you are not only limited in here you can remove I mean the drag and draw I mean you, you can rotate these right you can drag and drop and do a lot of stuff you can have amazing um, pattern as well so let's check it and also like so Anyway, moving on I hope you get the idea yeah so thank you so much take care bye